Hey guys, so Candyman's got a new trailer out. I had no idea this one was coming. Brought to us by Jordan Pill, who gave us the wonderful Us and Get Out, two great films, really expertly made horror thrillers. And to have Candyman coming to us again and having him be one of the writers is super exciting to me. I think he has just done something truly amazing with the horror genre. He's, he's incredible, so I'm really glad that he's doing this. Now, Candyman starred Tony Todd, and Virginia Madsen back in the day in the, the 1992 film based on a short story by Clive Barker about a man who was murdered after he had an interracial relationship. He was strung up and, and fed to bees. So Candyman, you say his name five times in front of the mirror and he comes out and kills you. So there was three movies in that original franchise. So Candyman in 1992, Candyman Farewell to the Flesh in 1995, and Candyman Day of the Dead, 1999. Now, I've seen all of them, and from memory, the first one is the best one. So this new one is supposed to be a direct sequel to that original film, so the just like the current trend is, any subsequent sequel to that original classic is now just scrubbed off the board, so it's kind of like a semi-reboot, sort of, kind of, almost. So let's just dive in and take a look at this new trailer. Like I said, this is a complete surprise to me. I had no idea this was coming. This is... This is this is wonderful. I love being surprised like this, especially when it's returning to my, my horror icon favorites, you know, like Freddy and Jason. Candyman's definitely up in there. All right, so let's just take a look at the trailer. Three, two, one, go. Candyman. The urban Candyman. legend Candyman. If you say his name five times while looking in the mirror. Did I say three? It's five times. in the reflection and it kills you. Who would do that? Yeah, he does. Candyman. 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 Well, we're still alive. But not for long. Let's go. Trina, you broke the door. Oh shit. And the bees. feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster. It's part of this neighborhood. Yeah, producer. I'm hoping to spread the story all about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his Nia name. Nia Candyman. 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 People are dumb. Yeah. Don't. Don't be stupid. Don't say that. Candyman. Here we go. Here's a hook for a hand. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, sure did. I brought him back. I like the music. Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you to be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. Say my name, say my name. cool man really i really like what they did with the the score there the music was very good um that's definitely a trope of jordan peele films he always has awesome soundtracks so that looked really kind of um eerie and scary i, I like the tone and the atmosphere of it definitely very creepy so good seeing candy man come back it's been a, it's been a long time right well 99 was the last sequel so yeah, 20, 21 years. So I'm just looking at some information here on the Internet Movie Database, directed by Nia DaCosta. So what has she done? She has done Little Woods, Candyman, Top Boy. Not a lot of directing credits, so she's only done four things, so that's good. She's a, a first-time director. Well, first time. She has worked her way up to where she is now. Um, a lot of writing. 
So no, I don't really know much about her. So I'm hoping that if this is amazing, that I should definitely put her on the map. I like to go through the cast list as well. So we've got Yahya Abdul Mateen II as Anthony, Tayona Paris as Brianna, Nathan Stewart Jarrett as Troy, Coleman Domingo, Kyle Kaminsky, Vanessa Williams. Rebecca Spence. Not a lot of people that I recognize, so I don't know a lot of names in this one. Shit. Tony Todd is in this. Tony Todd, the original Candyman, is in this film. As Daniel Robitaille. He's the Candyman in this one. Oh, shit. I thought this was like... I thought they were going to recast. We didn't see the, the Candyman's face in that trailer at all. So if Tony Todd has returned to the role as Candyman... Shit, did I just spoil myself? Is that a spoiler? Did I just spoil you? It's on the internet movie database. It's there. Holy shit. Okay. Um, well, I'm suspecting this is a bit of an older film, so this could be the introduction to the entire Candyman franchise for a lot of people. And with what Jordan Peele is doing, like he's got a pretty high pedigree, like he's popular, people like his movies. This could draw in a whole new bunch of fans for this franchise, and that excites me. So also with Candyman being an, an older property... Are we going to get, if this is successful, revisits to all these classic, iconic characters? I mean, we've had a reboot of A Nightmare on Elm Street. We've had a reboot of Friday the 13th. We've had a reboot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre with varying degrees of success. So if the caliber of somebody like Jordan Peele can kind of get behind it, we could have a return to form for our classic, iconic monsters. That would be sick. I'm totally down for that because I think horror... Well, there hasn't been a lot of great horror lately, like not iconic stuff. Like, those villains from the 80s were, like, they're massive. So to kind of revisit that would be sensational. I think I'd be really down for that. This is exciting. When's it coming out? June. Oh, a few months to go. I'm excited. That looks good. So what do you guys think? You excited for Candyman? Do you know much about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.